Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be doing the classic smoky eye as it was requested. I'm also going to be doing an easily tousled look. So you're going to start first off by sectioning your hair into two like you see me do a million times. Uh, so I'm just going to do a slightly deeper part in the side than I typically do. Um, that's just so that I can get a little more va va voom on the one side. Now I'm going to section this off so I can work in smaller sections. This is totally optional. If you're able to work your hair without sectioning it off the way I do and clipping it, all the power to you. I just find I end up pulling curls apart and making a mess when I try to do it the other way. So to make the tussled curls, I'm going to be using a big barrel curling iron. Um, I think this is one and three quarter. Um, it's just the biggest one I could find. I'm going to do a fairly large chunk, section it off and brush it out like I always do. And I'm going to put the curling iron at the end of the shaft and drag it down. And I'm going to curl away from my face, rolling it all the way up to the root. I'm not too worried if I don't get it right directly to the end. It just kind of works towards the look to make it more flippy and messy. Do a little dance number when you're waiting for it. Just hold it for a few seconds. And then we'll let the curl down. Don't mess around with your cool uh, curl. Just let it cool, put it off to the side, and work the next piece. Did the exact same thing. Dropped it down. And I'm going to do the last section. Now, Thanks to the magic of editing, I'm going to jump ahead and do my whole head except for the top. Okay, so I'm not very good at that, but I tried. So now that I've done all around my head, I'm going to do the top. Now I'm going to do it slightly different than I did the rest. Um, I'm going to pull my hair straight up and curl straight down. I'm not going to curl off to the side and let it fall. Um, this is going to give my hair more body and a little more height um, without making it, you know, Thank you for the Country Music Award big, but it's going to make it a little bit bigger and have a little more volume. Unfortunately, it seems my hair is a little bit long to fit in the frame, but all I did was the same technique. I pulled the curling iron directly to the end, and then I just wrapped it down. You can hold it there for a few seconds, have another dance jam, because what else do you do when you're curling your hair? Now when I take the curling iron out, I'm going to keep my hand um, by the curl and let it fall into it because I don't want to disturb the curl. I want to leave it as intact as possible to let it cool off where it sits. And I'm going to do that all over my head. Do the next section. And one more. Lovely. Turn off the curling iron. I'm going to clip my hair back to keep it out of my way while I start doing my smoky look um, so that I'm not getting hair in my shadow. And just leave it as it is. Don't play with it. Don't do anything. Just let it cool and the curls will stay intact longer. Okay, I'm going to start doing my face. I have not done any foundation and that's on purpose. Um, I'm going to go in with my MAC paint pot um, primer and I'm going to use a whole lot more of this than I normally use. The trick with smoke, well there's there's a lot of tricks. You're going to hear key and trick a lot. <laughs> um, I find uh, if you use a good primer and um, really prime your eyes, it keeps the eyeshadow put and that's important during a smoky eye. Smoky eye. I also don't do my foundation prior to um, doing a smoky eye because I find there's a lot of fallout. So I'm going to start off with a soft brown. Um, you're going to see my lips moving. I'm chatting. My oldest son and his fiance came over for a visit while I was doing this video. So I'm just going to blend that soft brown. That's going to act as my transition color. Now I'm going to go with a darker one to give it more depth. And that's going to help diffuse a little bit of the black that I go in with. One of the tricks <laughs> to a smoky eye is blend, 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 blend. You cannot blend enough with a smoky eye. Trust me. 
Okay. Um, I missed a step here. I did go in with a gold eyeshadow and just put it on my lower lid. Nothing fancy there. So now I'm going to go in with the black. So when you're going with the darker color for the smoky eye, what you do is you put it right in the corner and go in circular motions and then you drag the product across the crease. Now typically because my eyes are hooded, I do do a smoky eye above my crease, but I really wanted to show you guys tr the traditional way of doing a smoky eye, so I'm doing it in my crease. Um, hooded eyes means that my eyelids go uh, up into the upper crease, so I have to do my shadow just a little bit different so it shows. Um, when you're starting out with a smoky eye, less product is more and just build from there. So darken it as you see necessary. Don't go whole hog black because you'll, you'll regret it. So start off and just keep building and keep adding the product as you see necessary. Make sure that you're blending it out each time. Now I'm going to go in with a clean fluffy brush and I'm going to diffuse that black out. Um, blend, 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 blend. And when you think you've blended enough, blend some more. Um, that is the number one rule to doing smoky eye is blend, blend, blend. Okay, now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and go in with that darker brown again and I'm going to put that over top of the black. What that's going to do is blend all the colors together harmoniously, give that little bit of shadow above the black and blend them all together nicely. Um, so you don't look like you have such a harsh, harsh cut crease on the look um, and just gives that Va va boom. <laughs> I like that term, va va boom. I gotta find another word for it. Alright, so now I'm going in with a pencil brush. I'm gonna use the dark brown color that I used um, on my lid first. Um, and I'm gonna put that right underneath on my bottom lash line. Uh, another key to doing a smoky eye is make sure that you're mirroring what you've done on your bottom lash as, a, as you've done on the top lid. And you're going to join them together uh, in the corner of your eye. So now I'm going to go in with the black. And don't worry if you make a little bit of a mess. That's why you haven't done your foundation and we're going to do some more blending. I know you're shocked. Okay, now I'm going to go with the fluffy, fluffy brush and blend, 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 blend. Okay. And now I am taking that gold color that I have on my lid and I'm putting that in the corner of my eyes just to give it a pop and I'm going to drag it a little bit into the outer like one third and connect it to the black and brown that I've already blended underneath my eyes. So there's a couple things I'm going to be doing in this look that I don't typically like to do. So you get to watch me make mistakes and do funny things. Um, for a change, I'm not using Walk of Shame. I'm in the Gwent Stefani palette from Urban Decay that I just got the other day. Um, I'm just using the Blondie Light uh, color for a highlight. I hate doing this. So when I do a smoky eye, I typically use a brown pencil instead of a black just because I find it makes my eyes look squinty if I use black, but you're welcome to. Um, the technique I'm doing right now is called tight lining. It's where you take a pencil liner and tight line the waterline on your upper lid. I hate doing this. Um, the second thing I hate doing are cat wings. Um, the reason why is because I have hooded eyes. They don't typically look good, but you definitely need a thick liner for when you're doing a smoky eye. It's just a traditional way of doing it. Um, you're going to see me struggling with this. Everybody has a bad eyeliner day and today was my day. It just didn't want to work no matter what I did. And I thought about editing it out for you, but I thought it might be nice for you to actually see that we all, we know, the struggle is real. It just did not want to go smoothly. You 
You know what? Give me a thumbs up if you can relate to this. <laughs> Alrighty, I think I'm actually finally getting to the point of it being decent. There we go. Uh, you guys get to see my oldest son. Uh, he decided he was going to sit down and visit for a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go in with that brown eyeliner pencil again, and I'm going to tight line my bottom lower line. This one I don't mind doing as much as my top. This is my son getting into my Bath and Body Work stuff. <laughs> okay. Now that I've done my eyes, now I'm safe to go in and do my eyebrows. So you've seen this before. Like I said, no fuss, no muss. It's just a eyeliner pencil with a gel. I don't like to fool around with my eyebrows too much. I probably should do a little more than I do, but I just can't be bothered. He thinks he's being stealthy, but I can still see the top of his head. Okay. Big shock, I'm going to go in with my Better Than Sex Mascara. And I do end up making a mistake with my, my mascara and decided to show you guys how I fix when I do an oopsies. So you can see I hit my lid there, so there's a big black splotch. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to freak out. I'm just going to leave it and let it dry up a little bit before I go to fix it. If you try to fix it while it's still wet, it's just going to smear and make your life a living hell. So it dries pretty quickly, so I'm going to take care of that little dot. You can either use a Q-tip with some makeup remover, or I just had a makeup wipe, and you're just going to dab it gently. Now, it kind of looks like I'm swishing my hand back and forth, but I swear I'm dabbing. I'm not swiping. If you just continue dabbing with a new clean section, it'll eventually come up enough. It doesn't have to be completely erased, just faded. And I have misplaced the brush, so you're going to see me hunting, hunting, hunting. Aha! So I'm going to go back in with the brush that had the gold eyeshadow on it, and I'm going to reapply that to my eyelid where I've removed the makeup. I'm also going to mirror that on the other side because whenever you add product, you need to do it to both eyes so they're balanced. And because I've done that, now I go in with a fluffy brush with, and blend it out a little bit with the darker color to make sure that it's even. And then the clean fluffy brush and blend, 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 blend. You will be so sick of blending with a smoky eye, but trust me, it is the only way to get the right diffused look uh, instead of the harsh edges. Um, that's the difference between looking crazy and looking polished. All right, so now I'm going to do my face now that I've finished my eyes. Um, oh, sorry, when you do a smoky eye, you typically have a lot of fallout from the black shadow, especially if you use a glitter. So that's why I don't do my foundation. I just use a makeup wipe and I just wipe all the fallout away. I don't know what happened to my color setting on my camera. I swear I am not using yellow foundation. It just looks really yellow. Um, so I'm going to do my foundation like I normally do. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole face when I'm doing it because you've seen me do it before. Now I'm going to go in with my under eye concealer. And I'm going to apply this, of course, in the triangle sh shape underneath my eye to give that dimension and some, um, I don't know, the shadows, the peaks and valleys in the face, just to make it look a little more contoured. I'm also going to put this down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, uh, in the hollows of my cheeks and on my forehead, just like I always do. Now I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender and my Max Fix Spray. Spray the Beauty Blender and get it a little bit damp, not wet. And I'm going to blend that out. Now what you're going to do with this, since you've already done your under eyes, is you're not going to go all the way under, 
we're gonna, you're going to use the concealer to finish and set the eye so it looks like a clean, crisp line that you didn't have to fuss around a lot with your eyeshadow with. If you'd done your foundation prior, you'd probably have fallout here and it wouldn't be blending out nearly as well. And you'd end up with gray spots that would show up when the light hit it. Okay, now I'm not going to um, bake my uh, concealer like I normally do, but you do need to use translucent powder to fix your um, concealer in place. Um, to set it. If you don't use a translucent powder on a concealer, it, what happens is it gets liquidy and melty and it'll slide around, it'll take your makeup with you and you'll end up looking older and it's just not a cute look. So it's a good idea to use the translucent powder there. Okay, now I'm just going to go in and darken up that black line a little bit to make it look a little sharper. And that's pretty much for the eyes. So now I'm going to work on my cheeks. I'm going to use my um, Tarte Bronzer. I'm going to go really heavy handed with this. Um, I find with a smoky eye a more defined cheek um, is definitely the way to go. So while I typically, because I'm so pale, do not like doing heavy heavy um, bronzing and blush, I find with this it looks much better if you do. And the typical three shape, just to give my face a little bit of contour, make it look a little elongated. Okay, I'm going to go in with my tapered blush brush and this beautiful bright pink blush. And I'm going to focus this on the apples of my cheeks and drag it back to my temple so that most of the color is on the apple of the cheek and then it just blends out nicely to the um, cheekbone, to the top of the cheek. <laughs> And now I'm going to go in with a highlight color. I'm going to go with this iridescent um, mauve color um, just because it's so pretty I wanted to use it. Now when you're working with a loose one like this, it's a good idea to put it on your brush and then blend it into the lid of the holder and then put it on. Then you get less fallout and not as much of a pain to clean up later. Again, I'm not a big fan of dark lips and dark eyes, so I'm just going to go in with a nude. Um, this is a Clinique nude. I can't remember the color. Sorry, um, chubby lip pen, uh, lip uh, lipstick. <laughs> Took me a lot to get that out. Um, I'm going to put that on, but um, to make it pop a little bit more, you can either use a clear lip gloss if you wish in the center. But I'm going to go back in with the same highlighting, loose highlighting powder that I used. And I'm going to dab that in the center of my lip on the top and bottom. Just gives a little bit of shimmer, um, catches the light when you move your head back and forth um, without being too wet. But again, you just want it right in the center of your lip. And that's the finished look for the makeup, guys. So I'll show you what the eyeshadow looks like a little bit closer up. Don't know why I did the weird blink thing, but that's pretty much it. Let's work on the hair. I'm just going to take out the clips and I'm going to run my fingers through my hair to break up the curl, starting underneath and working to the sides and the top and shape the hair just a little bit to get it to the way I kind of like it. And my makeup mirror is in the way, so I need to shove that over so I can use my big mirror so I can see what I'm doing with my hair. <laughs> so I'm just going to tousle that up so it looks a little bit messy and unkept. And then I'm going to grab my hairspray, spray a little bit in my hands, and again I'm going to start underneath my hair and work it up just to give it some more volume and bounce. This is a hairstyle I do quite frequently as well just because it's easy as the day goes on. It stays really well. There's no fuss, no muss. Just run your fingers through a little bit and you're good to go. 
So this is the whole look, guys. Um, I really hope you like it. If you did, I hope you rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'd love to hear any suggestions you may have for future videos you'd like to see me do. Um, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye, guys.